In this video I show you duo trolling strategy which is really fast way to reach iron 40 LP. Me and my duo came up with this strategy because soft tinting was not fast enough for us to lose games even if we had two trolls in our team. Our strategy solves games dragging out too long in lower ranks and minimizes your chances to win any games. In this duo trolling strategy we are using Singed and Syndra as our trolling champions. Q into games as a DC in support so your Q times are shorter than usual. This strategy is highly bannable so I advise you to only use this strategy on your troll accounts. In champion select ban your teammates champions and hover other players champions. This will cause brain damage to your team and they will start banning innocent players hovered champions. Provoking your team in champion select might cause them to start trolling and it would only make games end faster. When playing as Syndra here are your starting items. At the start of the game put both of your wards under enemy turret so enemy mid laner gets level 2 from first wave. Your only goal as Syndra is to follow your jungler around and reset their jungle camps or steal them with smite. If your jungler goes to lane you should also steal cannon minions with minion dematerializer. If your team's inhibitor gets destroyed then you leave your jungler and only focus on throwing super minions into your turrets. Here is an example of full build on Syndra. I avoid building damage on Syndra because I don't want to kill enemy super minions. Now going to Singe here are starting items and runes which my duo used. My duo is more experienced Singed compared to me and he has found these items and runes to work best with his strategy. Singed is going to proxy farm all his top laners farm so top laner won't get any experience or gold. Depending on your rank enemies might let you proxy farm or they will waste their time on chasing you. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the f <laughs> no 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 <laughs> If your jungler or top laner decide to have none of this trolling then you should move and troll your mid laner. This is an example build for singed. You should get boots as your first item and you can build other items as you wish. Remember to build support item too because having two support items on one team griefs your team's bounty rewards. This map shows you how this strategy plays out in game. When Cinder goes to troll jungler and Singed goes to proxy farm top it opens bot lane and enemy bot lane can push fast their lane and destroy bot inhibitor. When inhibitor is destroyed Cinder moves to bot lane and starts throwing super minions into turrets. This strategy makes most of your games end before 20 minute mark and it's great for losing multiple games in short period of time. Be aware that this strategy is highly bannable because ticket reports can get you banned. Even if you get ticket reported it takes about 12 hours for a riot to take action so you may troll as many games as you wish during that time. If you get 14 days ban in my experience you need multiple 14 days bans to receive permanent ban because my previous main account got 5 14 days bans before it got permanently banned. Sadly after trolling so many games in a row my main account got 14 days banned from intentional feeding. This was not from ticket report because I got immediately banned after last game I played. Game ID which got me banned was last game I played so it was automated ban. This does not mean trolling with Syndra is automatically detectable but instead I got reported too many times and specific amount of games which triggered the ban. I asked about this from a troll who knows best about it so according to him half of your games need to be normal and other half can be trolling so you remain undetected from automated system. However if you play on account which you do not care if it gets banned then these are not needed and ticket reports can still get you banned even if you do normal games between troll games. He also said that if you just soft int then those normal games are not needed which explains why I managed to troll 150 games in a row without getting a single ban. This was also first time I got banned this way so I am not sure how often players actually would get banned by having too many reports.